Well, now he's no longer on the front bench. Ed Husick will be spending, well, the immediate future, perhaps the rest of this parliamentary term as a backbencher. How does he intend to use his time? Well, he wants to focus on why he suffered a swing against him in his Western Sydney seat and why voters in outer suburban Australia, regional Australia as well, walked away from Labor. He says he wants to take his time, as does Anthony Albanese, in establishing exactly what happened here. But one of his uh, immediate concerns is Labor's pre-election policy announcement to make abortions freely available in public hospitals was used against them. He suggests perhaps a little bit of fake news here as well, but it did have an impact in migrant communities and particularly strongly religious migrant communities in his seat. There was a, uh, a bit of a wildfire going on over the issue of abortion, which caught me by surprise. This was Labor's pre-election announcement that you'd make abortion available in public hospitals. Yeah, to, and, and it was uh, it was policy that thought through about how uh, people in need could get access, you know, that the right health care, the right access uh, uh, in a timely way. Uh, but it was being used by some people. Uh, it was being uh, manipulated and uh, quite the wrong position being put forward. What was that position, the wrong position being the put forward? The wrong position being suggesting that in some cases that we were advocating for abortion in the third trimester. It's just wrong. It wasn't about advocacy. It was providing support for people who needed it. Uh, and Are you reckon this cost you votes? I think there were some people that had been uh, uh, had this information put before them. Again, you know, we need to listen to how people made their their views known.